Hey, it's Jake with the Pock Motorsports Channel. And on today's video, you're gonna see this 1971 CUDA run, and we're gonna build a dash panel using good old fashioned CAD model. All right, time to see if this old gal will fire up. Uh, it is straight piped right now, just open headers, because I disconnected the exhaust to build a set of headers, so. Anyways, it's gonna be pretty loud. Right on. Oh, on switch. Well, it fires up. That's good. All right, let's do her again. Choke on her. Oh, I'm probably gonna have to baby it for a few minutes while it warms up. I gotta look and see if my exhaust is touching the ground or not. Oh no, not touching the ground. So, well, that's good. Okay, perfect. I think we're good to drive this thing actually once we get her idling. Not a long ways, but uh, definitely good to drive it out of the driveway. So, Go. All right. So this new header I built looks like she's getting a little steamy, so that's normal. Kind of smoky a little bit. Um, looks like most of the bolts on there are pretty tight. This um, CAD design mocked up. That's cardboard aided design. I think I'm gonna put the gauges right on top of it there. Anyways, time to see if I can bring this to life. All right, so found a piece of steel here. It's not the prettiest thing, but it's what I got. And I untaped all my, my joints here and um, just kind of laid this thing out. Um, Anyways, I just lined up this corner. I'm not doing anything real fancy. And I just took my uh, little wood pen here and scribed the lines around it. And uh, actually, I'm going to get a straight edge so I have a cleaner line to follow. But you can see right there, I kind of marked those angles. And then I'll get my straight edge out and run this across it again just to make it a little cleaner looking, easier to follow with a grinder. All right, looks like we're recording. So, I'll show you what I did for my dash. Um, you guys can see it better this way. Anyways, you can see some of my markings here. Um, all I had was a wood pencil, so 
I just traced it out with that. Then I took a straight edge and cleaned up some of these lines so that they're a little straighter. And you know, the cardboard edge isn't always the straightest. So anyways, I'm gonna get to cutting this. All right, so there it is. I uh, kind of got it roughly bent up. I'm gonna see how it fits in there and uh, I'm gonna have to do a little bit of trimming here and there, but see how she goes. folks there she is it's kind of how it's gonna look so uh, I just gotta start drilling holes now and mounting this thing up all right I got some holes drilled and mounting holes and things for this uh, the gauges on top now all that's left is to uh, put them together so here we go Nice thing about these gauges too is uh, the wire connectors just uh, plug into the back of the gauge. So I just gotta clip those in there. Send the old wires on down through. And it might be a good idea to zip tie these wires so they're not, so they're staying together and not just sitting in there rubbing on this metal edge, even though I deburred it really well. So I'm gonna go find some zip ties. So I got some little itty bitty zip ties. I'm gonna use those to uh, get these wires together. There we go. Need a little snippy do here. Should get a set of dikes for this. Well, I guess you use what you have lying around. I'm just using these little sheet metal screws. Same thing I used to uh, hang my rear view mirror with. Um, it's just kind of what I have lying around and I don't like going to the old parts store if I don't have to. The hardware store, whatever you want to call her. I'd like to get all this stuff mounted up solid so I can actually drive this thing. All right, folks, there we go. Let's see, uh, let's see how it looks here. I'm gonna spin the camera just a little bit. So there she is in all of her glory. Now I gotta mount um, 
a lot more stuff to this. I need switches here to turn on my ignition and my headlights and all kinds of other things. And then I think I'm gonna put a voltmeter here eventually, but uh, I don't have one today. So I just want, I'm gonna get my switches put in here and uh, might even put a fuse block right here. Not really sure. Maybe I'll put it on the outside so it's accessible. I don't know. We'll see. All right, so it's time to do a major cleanup. Um, basically, all these switches um, and all the relays and things that I have here need to go into that dash right there. So I'm going to get started on that. Well, everybody, there she is. We got the uh, dash in there. Um, I got my my uh, buttons for my headlight and turning on my starter and stuff. And uh, I think it came out all right. I just have some zip ties holding on some stuff on the back right now. Got to go find some fasteners. I'm a little short on fasteners in the old garage right now, so. It's still a wild, ugly mess right there, but uh, it's coming along. And uh, anyways, I'm gonna have to pull that piece off. And then once I get all the right fasteners for it, I'll uh, paint it up a little bit and screw it in there for good. That is my dash panel. So, hello everyone. I think we're going to call her a night. Thanks for watching. Get after it.